Welcome, my name is Merle Whitney. Today, we're going to be looking at the lab exercise, running the Validate a Configuration Wizard. Using the Validate a Configuration Wizard before creating a cluster is highly recommended. This wizard validates that the hardware and software configuration for the potential cluster nodes are in a supported configuration. Running the validate a configuration wizard does the following. One, it conducts four types of tests. Testing the software and hardware inventory, testing network, storage, and system configuration. The wizard also confirms that the hardware and software settings are supportable by Microsoft support staff. We're now going to go to Tools, and we are going to open Failover Cluster Manager. In the Actions pane, on the right-hand side of the screen, you want to click on Validation Configuration. At the Before You Begin screen, we want to click Next. At this point, we need to select servers or a cluster. For this example, I am going to browse and select a server, and we're searching for the server that we need to select. If you know the name of your server, you can simply type it in, and you can see the search going on here. I'm going to click on a server and say OK. You can see the server name right here under enter the object names to be selected. Then we click on OK. And the server name is in the selected servers pane. We want to click on Next. And we come to the testing option. For all purposes, we're going to leave Run All Tests. This is the recommended setting. Then we're going to click Next. And we are ready to start the validation. Please confirm that the following settings are correct. When you look at your settings, make sure that the settings are correct. And to continue, you click Next. You can see that the validation has started, and you want to let the test complete. After the test is completed, you want to review the report that will appear in the summary window, and then click Finish. The validation test can take a considerable length of time depending on your test selection. Remember that when the wizard finishes and the validation is complete, you're going to see a review in the summary window of the report. At that point, you'll click Finish.